Welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we're covering three subjects. We're going to be talking about UV light, UV flashlights, and, well, why, what minerals are look like under them and why. Uh, let's talk a little bit about UV light for a minute. Uh, I'm going to be putting some different charts and graphs and stuff on the screen to help explain a little bit about what's going on when you aim a black light at something that is phosphorescent. So, essentially, um, there is a visible light spectrum that the human eyeball can see. The ultraviolet spectrum is outside of what the eye, human eye can see. There are some animals, as an example, that can see into the UV spectrum. Uh, we're not one of them, though. So, when you're looking at lights, you generally want to go as low into the spectrum as possible to get away from that visible spectrum. You don't want that light bleeding into uh, what you're seeing, essentially. So when you take a UV light and you aim it at like a, a mineral that will phosphoresce, what's happening is protons, photons, photons <laughs> are uh, hitting an electron and it's leaving its orbit. And when it does so, it emits a wavelength of light that is now in the visible spectrum. So it's uh, using that energy, leaving orbit, and let's say turning orange or green, that, that type of thing. That's what's happening with the UV light hitting, hitting a rock in this case. Uh, I know we can really get more complex than that, but that's the nutshell of it. So that's what's happening. Uh, as far as lights go, I have two lights here. Um, one is really cheap and one mid-range. The light spectrum is measured in nanometers. So uh, the visible spectrum technically starting at 400 nanometers and going up, and then uh, the UV spectrum, well, down. <laughs> okay, so uh, this light here, ooh, this light here is a little cheapo that you get, you know, Amazon, whatever, and it's a 395 nanometer light. This is uh, another light that you can get on Amazon, and it's 365 nanometers. So I think this is a good time to uh, chat a little bit about these lights. Let's start by talking about this cheap little guy right here. Uh, the brand really doesn't matter. They're all basically the same. They are going to be in that sub $15 range on Amazon, and they land in the 395 nanometer wavelength, which uh, when you click it, you can definitely see this purple glow, right? That is not really what you want. Let me show you an example. So here, you're mostly seeing this purple light. Next, we have this. We have our 365. This is a UV beast one. Notice you barely see anything. We're below that visible light spectrum. Now, I have all my lights on in here. And you can kind of see that glowing. Now we're going to get more into that here shortly, but let's talk about these lights. I wanted a 365 nanometer light that, well, is mid-range. Now, there are great lights out there that are in the B and C sh mid-range short, short wave, mid wave, short wave uh, spectrum of the UV light. And they're great lights, but they're very expensive, like a $550 light. And, you know, they're like four pounds. It's like a shoebox with a handle on it. And that just that doesn't cut it for the way we do things here on this channel, which is, you know, fun adventures, backpacking into places. And I wanted something that could just go in my pack. These little guys, right? They run off of triple A's, usually double A's. And it, this one, at least, just eats the eats the the batteries like it's uh no uh, nobody's business it just burns through them this light here uh maybe you're familiar with these this is uh rechargeable enough threads on there two rechargeable 
18650s and uh you know you buy it, it comes with a little charger thing and it comes with a extendable tube so you can actually go from two batteries to three and get longer burn time but i like the form factor of this so i'm probably not going to do that um and the way i uh i'm gonna carry this thing around right i have this little tool pouch that i keep in my bag with all my little extra rock hounding tools and it's just gonna float in there so i like the size and adding that extra section doesn't really cut it so this um i like the form factor rechargeable batteries and uh it's 80 dollars. now i know for some people 80 dollars is a lot some people maybe it's not i think for most people though you can probably say that uh 500 a thousand dollar shortwave uv light is a lot of a lot of money so uh yeah with that said i think um we can kind of start by looking at these things side by side i'm going to roll some photos in here and what you're going to see is a number of rocks that are lit up in the shop and then you're going to see it under the 395 and then the 365 and you can really start to see the difference of spectrum right one's going to be blown out in purple and the other one is going to be well colorful and you're not going to see that purple uv light it's also important to note that there's a big difference between what my eyeball sees what uh you're seeing right now um is dslr photos and what like the video on a cell phone camera is going to capture these all look a little bit different probably the best looking thing being dslr photos and then your eye and then your phone uh, but you can really see the difference here now i also took this out and did some outside testing as well and uh, i'll put those photos in uh, probably like here or whatever and you can really start to see how this looks outside now uh, I also found another fun use for this is uh, you can see in these photos, uh, I managed to find some lichen, and that lichen was phosphorescing red. And I also found some orange, which is kind of cool. I wasn't expecting that. So, um, yeah, I mean, I think uh, the, the photos really speak for itself. I think it's worth it. You know, um, the way I see using this light in the future is going to be like, we're out somewhere, it's getting dark. Hey, pull the UV light out. Maybe some of this stuff is, well, phosphorescent and it'll glow and it'll be cool. And uh, with that said, I think maybe it's time to uh, switch over and look at a display of rocks. So here is my little display of rocks. Now, I think for a lot of people, they might look a little on the boring side. Uh, but I'll kind of do a quick run through and then we'll shut the lights off and look at them. Right over here, all of that pile, that is a pile of thunder eggs, broken thunder eggs from Jackpot, Nevada. We got some big pieces of petrified wood, some different uh, agates, opals. Um, got some fire agate from Arizona thunder eggs. I have some... Uh, Clams that have calcite crystals, uh, got some onotite here, a lot of different things. So let's shut off the lights. Okay, so we're going to be starting with the little 395. And now you can see some things will pop on screen and look kind of cool. But you're really seeing this purple, purple glow. Uh, that's most of what you're going to be picking up here. And it's very distracting and it doesn't, it looks okay-ish in, uh, with my eyes. Like right there, those clams, that kind of looks like this dull yellow. We have some oranges and greens here, but for the most part, not great. So we're not going to spend too much time on the 395. All right, 365. Here we go. Now you can really start to see things pop. You can see that orange. We have thunder eggs here. Glowing green. We have some of the 
these fire agates from Arizona. Glow, parts of them glow green at least. Now, uh, these thunder eggs are pretty cool. I think you kind of catch that there, glowing. It's hard doing a uh, video, you know, it's just that's the nature of it. So I'm going to look at this onatite here. This is radioactive, by the way. Pretty cool stuff. You can really see it glowing. You know, and it's uh, fine to get that, you know, handle that stuff. Just wash your hands. Don't want to go around eating that. But you can really see the difference. So let's look at something kind of cool. Now, I know this is just glowing bright white. Check this out. So what's happening here is, you know, we were talking about those electrons that are in a different orbit. And with this, it's simply taking a longer amount of time to drop out of orbit. Therefore, it glows longer. I have a number of things here that are like that. Pretty fun. And uh, most of these are collected by myself. So you can see here we have this, which has some calcite on it, and that's really glowing. I mean, this is a piece of rhyolite with a... Anyways, um, what else? We've got some different stuff here. We've got some agate that I picked up in, uh, in Utah. But... I think uh, you 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 get the picture here. We have a uh, oh, before we go, we got some uh, sulfide mineralization on on some rocks. They kind of really want to glow there. And then uh, got a little my indoor jar of onatite. There you go. Kind of really see it there, really glowing. Uh, let's head, turn the lights back on. So I hope that helped you out. I hope that explained a couple of things about all well, UV lights and what's happening when you take a black light and aim it at something. Uh, this light, I, I like it. Um, you can kind of see here that this one has no filter and this you can't see the LEDs in it. Um, so it's an additional thing that cuts out some of that visible light. I do wish that there was like had some kind of cover, right, that covered this because it's going to be in this little tool bag. So in the meantime, I'm just going to stick it in a glove and shove it in my pack. And uh, when we're out rock hounding, I can kind of start to check some of that stuff, um, some of these different minerals and things that we find. Uh, and I think with that said, uh, we're going to call this one a wraps. If you like this kind of content, there's a lot of other really cool videos here on the channel that I've made. Definitely click the my name and, you know, there's links down below this video and all that good stuff. So, hey, uh, thank you so much. Have a good day, everybody.